hey how's going on youtube welcome back to yet another amazing video and in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your fps fix your lags stutter and rubber banding issues in overwatch 2 season 19 dropped recently this guide will be going over to all of the best windows as well as the game settings so make sure to stick around to the end and with all that said let's get started with the intro Alright, step number one is always heading over to your essential window settings and for that head over to settings onto your PC and over here you have to turn off game bar is an overlay service and disabling that will help you to optimize the performance of your games. Click on gaming once again, head over to game mode and simply turn this thing on. This will help you to optimize your PC by turning things and applications off in the background helping you to get better performance. Then click on the graphic settings underneath and then you wanna have to enable optimizations for windowed games as this will help you to reduce input latency. In C. Click on advanced graphic settings and enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as this thing will help you to utilize your graphic card to render the game. Then you wanna have to open up your Steam or wherever you have Overwatch 2 installed. Right click on your game, click on manage and then you wanna have to click on browse local files. Over here you have to copy this file path and then you wanna have to click on add desktop app button. Now you wanna have to paste this file path over here and select overwatch.exe. Click on the add button and if that is already added, come down to find it. Select your application and then you wanna have to set your GPU preference to high performance and make sure that it is utilizing your graphic card. Then enable optimizations for windowed games. And once that is done, simply minimize your setting. Next step is compatibility settings. And for that, you have to go to download location of your game. Right click on overwatch.exe, click on properties, and then head over to compatibility. Then click on disable full screen optimizations and select change high DPI setting. Select override high DPI scaling behavior. Click on OK. And once that is done, simply close it. This will help you to fix all kind of unwanted input delay. Before moving ahead, I want to introduce you guys to Aniba, which is a marketplace with over 30,000 digital products and a growing interest in expanding libraries to meet all your needs. At Aniba, you can find cheap games, Windows keys, Game Pass, and a lot of other cool stuff. You can also buy Discord Nitro over here. You can simply click on the categories section and then select from the categories. They have products for mobile games, PC games, game cards, e-gift cards, Xbox, PSN, Nintendo, and a lot more. My personal favorite is the Windows key over here where you guys can get original Windows key for a great discount. Anybody supports a global region so you can select and pay in your own currency. And once you're done with the payment, you will get your keys in the email within 5 to 10 minutes. You can find all of the keys in one page that is under the trending section where you guys can select any product from their hot picks and get it at an absolute discounted rate. Aniba has a 4.3 star rating with over 246,000 reviews so you know that they are trusted. And Aniba believes customers shouldn't have to worry about their purchase and that is why they offer 24-7 live support to help with any questions about your purchase. Simply go to their contact page and click on create ticket now to resolve any of your issues if you face one. I have left a link to aniba.com in the description below. Make sure to go check out for all your games and gaming needs. Next step is actually disabling background applications on your PC. And if you're using Windows 11, it is really, really simple. Search for edit group policy. And this one will be only available for Windows Pro users. Over here, double click on computer configuration, then administrator templates, Windows components, and then app privacy. Over here, you'll find something called let Windows apps run in the background. Double click to open it up and make sure that this policy is set to enabled and the policy default should be set to deny. This will help you to disable all kind of applications running in the background, saving your system's resources for gaming. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and press enter. Select your local disk C and click on the create button over here. Name it Overwatch 2 just so you can remember it. I would highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because all of the settings that we are going to be changing up ahead in the video will be hard windows settings so that's done simply close and close system properties now the next step is overwatch 2 season 19 fps pack i'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below you guys will find seven very simple folders over here all of which are there to optimize the performance of your pc on the maximum level first one is cpu priority which helps you to set up the correct d word value for your processor to optimize its performance if you guys have an intel cpu like me you can double click and apply the intel cpu priority and if you guys have an amd cpu you can double click and apply the amd cpu priority second one is ram optimization which once again applies the best d word value for your system's ram to unlock its performance once again you have to select 
select from the list I have given over here, I use 32 GB RAM, so you need to apply it for your PC. Once again, if you are unaware of it, simply search for system information and look for install physical memory on your PC. I have already done that and once again, if that doesn't work out well for you guys and you want to revert it back, double click on reset to default registry over here. Third folder is the most important one which is Overwatch 2 priority in which I have left three priorities and to apply this, you need to leave your PC specs down in the comments below. Uh, I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose right over here. Fourth folder is disable unwanted services in which I have left a ton of services according to your system which is absolutely useless and disabling that services will help you to optimize the performance of your PC. These services stay running in the background and it occupies your system CPU and RAM resources so you wanna have to disable that. Except if you use any Bluetooth or printer services, I would highly recommend you guys to disable every single one of these services over here. And once again, if you have disabled anything by mistake or you wanna have to turn them back on, double click on revert registries and you guys can turn this thing on again. Fifth folder is power plan settings in which I have left import ultimate performance power plan. This is really really important you wanna have to right click and then run it as administrator this will run a powershell command which will then add a new power plan onto your pc to access that double click on power plans and then you wanna have to select ultimate performance which should be within this list this power plan helps you to disable all kind of power saving features on your hardware to optimize its performance and make sure that nothing turns off just in case your pc utilizes maximum power Sixth folder over here is general input delay improvement in which I have left keyboard latency fix and for this one you need to leave your keyboard model specifications down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which keyboard latency fix you need to choose over here. The next one is mouse latency fixes and in which I have left fix mouse curve dot registry file. You wanna have to double click and apply this and it will help you to set up the correct mouse sensitivity, smooth X and Y curves and the mouse speed to optimize the performance and make it more realistic. Seventh one is programs in which I have left three useful programs. The first one is clean temporary files. You wanna have to right click and then run it as administrator. This pop-up will open up and ask you to press any key to continue. This will delete all temporary files off of your PC. Simply press enter and once all of that is done, simply close it. Next is MSI mode utility 3.0. Simply right click and run it as administrator. This software helps you to set up the correct interrupt priority for your graphic card to optimize its performance and to do that it's really simple what you have to do is simply select your graphic card click on the msi button next to it and for the interrupt priority select high and then click on the apply button simply close it and the last one is quick cpu setup this is a setup file you have to install it on your pc and open it up quick cpu is a really essential application to optimize the performance of your cpu and to do that what you have to do is simply slide all of these core parking frequency scaling turbo boost and performance index all the way up to 100% and then click on the apply button. Once that's done, simply close quick CPU as well. Next step is fixing all of your network issues, packet loss, ping issues using no ping. If you guys are getting high ping on your games, what you have to do is simply come down to the link in the description below and download no ping on your PC. No ping is a simple application which helps you to tunnel your internet straight from your PC to the game servers without any hindrance and it has more than 1000 games in the library. Simply search for Overwatch 2 over here and select it. Then it will find all of the servers which are nearest to you. Select the server which shows the lowest amount of ping and click on optimize game. This will help you to connect your PC straight to the game servers which will give you the lowest amount of ping. If that is not enough, no ping also has all of these dedicated FPS boosting tools where you guys can enable all of them to optimize the performance of your games and increase your FPS as well. Once again, no ping helps all of the gamers for multiple games and it is pros choice as you guys can see right over here. I have left a free download link to no ping right in the description below and joining the discord server will grant you a 3 days free trial. So make sure to go check out no ping from the link in the description below. Next step is defragging and optimizing disk drives and for that simply search for defrag and optimize drives over here and what you guys have to do is simply select your local disk C. If this is a solid straight drive simply click on optimize and this will help you to trim the SSD. Once again trimming your SSD is always good because it helps you to improve the longevity of your drives and optimize the performance as well if it is a hard disk drive click on analyze let it run the analysis and then you have to click on optimize and this will help you to fragment your hard disk drive once that's done simply close it next step is cleaning up your shader cache and it is going to be the final step for this what you have to do is simply search for disk cleanup on your pc and open it up select your local disk c click on ok and then you want to have to select all of these folders over here except recycle bin 
make sure that you are deleting the DirectX shader cache because all of your game compilation shader files would be saved in this DirectX shader cache. Simply clean it and delete these files and this will force the game to re-render all of the shaders which will help you to fix any kind of bugs or stuttering problems which might be caused by that. Once all of that is done, now you guys can drop into the game for the best in game settings. Game, head over to your escape key and then go over to options. Then come down to video settings and then make sure that your GPU you is set to your native graphic card. Your graphics API can be DX11 or DX12, whichever your PC can support, and the display mode should be set to borderless windowed. Then FOV, I would recommend you guys to go with 103. Dynamic render scale should be turned off and the render scale should be set to automatic. For the frame rate, I've gone with custom and set the maximum frame rate all the way up to 600. V-Sync triple buffering should be turned off and reduced buffering should be turned on. Nvidia Reflex should be set to enable plus boost. And once that is done, head over to graphics quality and over here, except from texture quality being medium, everything else should be set to low and off. That would help you to reduce your VRAM usage and help you get extra FPS. Then you click on the details button over here and make sure that the performance metrics are on in which you can enable your frame rate, GPU temperature, VRAM usage, network latency and once that's done press Y to apply that, head back and now you guys can enjoy your game with the highest FPS possible. So guys that was it for this video, I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button because it really helps me grow the channel. Also we are really close to 150,000 subscribers so consider hitting that subscribe button as it really helps me grow the channel and I'll see you all in another amazing video. Until then stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.